Supercell confirms that present plunder will be deleted from the game. Competitive player Lunky Bar has some amazing accomplishments from 2020. Tierless V22 is out and it's actually good this time. The top ladder finish is allegedly win traded for Clash Royale and Supercell is threatening to ban them. Competitive player asked Frank from Supercell when present plunder is leaving and he confirms that it will be leaving on Monday, January 8th, 8 a.m. UTC. On August 17th, 2020, RC pledged that he would personally fly to Helsinki if Pro wasn't meta. In more serious news, competitive player Lunky Bar went all of 2020 without using Pam. That's an amazing feat. I mean, Pam is one of the most meta brawlers. She heals, she tanks, she's long range, she has area, con she, she does everything. For him to not have been Pam's slave for pushes, that's actually a pretty huge feat. Congratulations to Tribe Gaming for winning the Queso Cup. And just yesterday, Patchy Toast and Ez have reached record heights of 2300. When will I stop reporting their world records? They're gonna keep going. The race for the world record of Colt has begun. He is number one holding his position at 2100, but the race is over before it started because I, I'm really slow at reporting. <laughs> This is old news. Pyro's Time released the tier list for V22, and it looks like there's going to be a lot of S tier brawlers for 3v3. With Colt, he's quadruple S tier with 48 points. Keep in mind, you only need 9 points to be S tier. Colt has 48 points. His silver bullet destroys everything, and it's great for cheesing. Byron is second place up there, but we don't see much of Byron in competitive play. He's a mythic brawler. He has yet to be unlocked by people playing the game casually. And on top of that, he's a little bit harder to use. So pro players will be using him a lot more than a random because of that randoms is going to not heal you. Or if you are Byron, the random is going to walk in front of you. So I said in Ray's video, it's Byron is definitely being used in high level plays. Oh my word. If you look at this, Crow, Primo, Leon, and Shelly are at zero. That is not B tier. That is F tier. Oh, F in the comments for Shelly right now. This is a very well-made list that a lot of pros can generally agree on. V21 had a lot of controversy because there were a lot of, there were a series of unfortunate events. It just wasn't quite up to anyone's expectations. So that caused a little stir in the community, but V22 looks very good. The whole team worked really hard on V22 and it really shows. It's it's an amazing video. Check out Kairos's video for this for more details. Wait, what? Slash hit 14 48 trophies with Daryl. Why would anyone do that past rank 35? That's just pain. <laughs> World record Rico, 1367. World record Mike is Ez and not Lunky Bar? That's illegal. <laughs> William 11 hit rank 35 M's. William 11 changes his name to William 34. And always tilting on the last game. Drama rises as half the community tears a rift because Australian player Bagels is the number one world record holder for B. Bagels getting a lot of heat because he is from the Australia region, allegedly unworthy compared to other regions. Legend, a fellow Aussie, claims the game is actual bots and matchmaking probably took over an hour for this to even get into a game. So credit to him for his patience. Basically, the rundown of that is that Australian matchmaking is significantly smaller. You can draw up matchmaking faster because once you play against a certain person, you can't play again with them for the next 24 hours. And if you play with all of Australia, you end up matching against bots. Is it his fault or is it Supercell's fault? Maybe I should move to Australia. Finally, Gene's voice actor reveals his face. <laughs> On January 5th, 2021, all Colts decided to snipe matchmaking. I think they just teamed up and they just solo queued and matched against each other. What in the world is going on? 800 Colts, 1000 Colts. Oh my word. This brawler needs a nerf. They actually solo queued. On to more urgent news. With the trophy deflation happening, there was a lot of controversy. Not only the casuals, the pros, but everyone just stopped enjoying ladder altogether. The hypothesis is that the trophies that are being generated this season only comes from 4K trophy floor players that can't go below 4,000. That means the 4,000 players need to play more games and need to lose to 
inflate the economy. This stirred up a lot of controversy. Clash with Shane saying, really hoping Clash Royale reverse the trophy changes in Season 19. Challenges are Ghost Town, Clan Wars 2 is, well... Clan Wars 2. Ladder is the only thing in CR that creates a sense of progression, and it feels utterly defeating, knowing you will never push as high again. And just like that, they've reverted the changes in only a few days. There will be a maintenance today. Is the Wait, it's today Thursday? No. There's going to be a maintenance tomorrow. We've heard your feedback loud and clear, and this post will be transparent about why we decided to make this change. They're reverting the trophy changes. Why did they do it? The goal was so that they have enough mastery of the game to be competitive before entering the Legendary League. Now, for players in the four to 6,000 range, the goal was to help better matchmaking and make ladder pushing fun. That did not make it fun. <laughs> what are the next steps? So for players below 4,000, they're going to keep this new system. So the trophy gate still allows players to progress. For players in the four to 6,000 range, they're reverting to the old system that was in place before season 18. But wait, there's more. To make good on the trouble that we caused based on your personal bests, the trophy reset will be 25% instead of 50% when season 20 starts. Just like last February, they did the 25% thing. If you want to hit 7,000, this is probably the only time you can hit 7,000 if you're talentless like I. And just like that, CRL is about to start. In 23 days, who will win the $20,000 as the first place in the qualifiers? There's a five-year badge. Well, look at that. There is a five-year badge. Wow. Clash Royale has been out for five years now. Wow, this game really changed my life. That's that's crazy that we've been on this for five years now. Supercell did give five. What they meant by that was 5,000 gold. Oh, new 8-bit gadget on every brawler versus heist. Oh, this is gonna be so satisfying. Oh, is that Shelly? <laughs> oh, Nina's gonna be pretty fun too. That's 18 shots. <sighs> Not that much damage though. Only 45%. Colt, you kind of expect it because of Silver Bolt. Oh my gosh, Bolt. Who, who needs Berserker? Oh, those acorns. I just want to see it bounce on all the bots. Dynamite's going to be pretty... <laughs> Bo. He missed the first one. Wait, what? That was insanely disappointing. Ooh, Tick is going to melt that save. Oh, M's is going to destroy... It's going to melt in seconds. Wait, it didn't kill it? I'm a little disappointed. Oh, I love these thrower ones. <laughs> oh, Poco is going to be a good one too. I love that it was Serenade Poco as well. The punching ones, they don't do it for me. Penny though. Imagine getting hit by those splashes behind there. I was not expecting that from Jack. Oh, Piper. That was just a laser beam. B... Ooh. Jeans actually does a decent amount of damage. <laughs> Look at those suitcases just bounce. I love the thrower ones the best, though. Sprout, this is going to be good. <laughs> the cheese brawler himself. Sandy just looks like smoke. Oh, the surge one. It's a lot of kisses, but not a lot of damage. Oh, Nanny's going to wreck the save. That was really satisfying. Video of my map making bot. Look at it just go. Is this even legal? Can you get banned for using this bot? That's that's the only thing that I'm worried about. I, I wouldn't encourage using anything outside of the game. That is really cool. Oof, that was satisfying. Me being spawned in the middle of the map. El Primo with Suplex. This was a good map. You, you gotta check this out on my live streaming channel. I had so much fun playing this. And I don't know if we released the highlights yet, but I won mid as Sprout. Let that sink in for a second. If you know, you know. <laughs> Redditor is on their way to post how OP Silver Bullet is. We get it. It's OP. Max, Max, Max. Why do you gotta be so cheeky? Your account was made in Vietnam. And I just get out of here. These Brits and their cheekiness. Back in 2017, I traveled the world. Bought many gems right across Asia, South America, and Africa. Can't wait to play in CRL. <laughs> get out of here. The number one player in the world has been confirmed by Google as Chief Pat. <laughs> Win three games in gem grab. Let's go in and out. 20 minutes. Done. 28 matches later. One out of three. <laughs> I freaking hate these questions.
quests sometimes. I'm not gonna message my friends to play three gem grab matches. I'm just gonna solo queue that. Oh, I hate these quests sometimes. I don't wanna win. I just wanna deal damage. Who would win? A vampire who uses them to suck blood on victims or a cashier from gift shop? Who's to say that cashier isn't a vampire? <laughs> New gadget idea for him, Tick. Becomes immune to damage for one second and detonates himself. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's either one or the other. We can't have a Lou and a super gadget. Trying to make Tick meta again? Tick is, Tick is annoying. Balls everywhere. Maybe I think I'll stream this later today. Oh my, what the happened here? We got to see that again. I'll be streaming this later, after, probably after this video is posted. <laughs> He was just thirsty. A little bit of this. This. Mix it all together. I finished. My tea. <laughs> Literally the worst game mode. The reasons I play quests. Because I have a quest. Because it's in power play. Because it's in the game. There's no green. That's the joke. People who use gems to buy brawl pass. People who use gems to buy skins. People who use gems to buy coins. Okay, so I use gems to buy those chest offers to get coins. I need all the gold skins. Ooh. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. <laughs> when you have a heal quest. Ah, <laughs> oh, they didn't show the ending. We needed to see them get a quarter million health. I'm cheesed. Downvote. That's some mad blue balls right there. This is pretty wholesome. It says if you don't like the competition entry map, but you don't hate it either, just exit the game so you don't have to like or dislike it. Here's the thing, though, is that if you were meh about it, it doesn't deserve to be in the competition slot. So in that logic, you downvote it. It's not like a download. Hey, frick you, creator. It's like a downvote. I want to see a good map in the slot. <laughs> Danny is so wholesome and funny. Peta wins. Skins make me stronger. <laughs> they do make me stronger, don't they? Supercell needs to release a thousand dollar skin. I'll buy it. We need Pekka in a barrel. Yes! Yes! So, yes. Sort by buildings, troops, and spells. When I'm looking for a building, I only need one building and I only need two spells. That's actually such a good idea. Needs way more votes than that. Surgical Goblin is back in Clash Rail, but only sort of. His account got hacked, but he got it back. I wonder if he'll be playing in CRL. On the on the topic of that, there's a lot of controversy where allegedly some of the top players that finished top on ladder win traded. I believe there's documentation of that too, where there's just nothing happening in game. Boss CR says that a lot of people actually avoided ladder to avoid being banned. But Drew says that unfortunately we don't have a magic ban button because they're manually checking each account. So there will be another massive ban wave. With the monthly qualifier tournaments of $75,000, only time will tell if Supercell will preserve the integrity of the Clash Royale League 2021. Thank you everyone that does use Code OG in-game and Brawl Stars, Clash Royale, and everything else. My name is OJ, and this is the Juicy News Network, episode 5?